Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good late night, whatever you are. So finally, let's address the last lecture of this very long module, module three mission, but very important one. So the last part is just manipulation, okay? So geometry and mesh manipulation. So open font comes with a few utilities just to do manipulation. We have used uh so far okay but probably you haven't seen them but we have used use some of them so you have this you go to this directory you will find a few of these utilities so see that you have we use this auto patch to split the auto patch check mesh we have used it consistently and always recommend you when you generate the mesh or convert it always check mesh quality create baffles and so on okay so there are many many tools just showing you a few ones remember phone info name of the tool and that's all you get more information location of the source code you can open the source code tutorials and so on so for instance check mesh is located here Okay, so if you check the, the header file or you use the phone info, it will give you this information. Okay, general information, what you can do. Also, you have the option check mesh slash uh, help. Then also you have some tools to, to manipulate the geometries in, in STL format. Similar to what you can do with meshes, you have like, you can do Boolean of different surfaces. You can use an auto patch. We use this one. You can use mesh convert. That we use it from VTK to image. You can export in format. You can say strangulation. You can also rotate, okay, extract features and so on. So there is a lot of stuff that you can do. You have something similar to check mesh, but for for surfaces that it can give you some information is you have a, an open or closed surface and so on. Okay, so feel free to just find info, look at some tutorials, see how you use this tool, but you can also use with these cases that you have here. Okay, so for instance, you have surface transfer tools and this is what you can do. So this is the one, a general tool that you can use to translate, rotate or scale the geometry. <clears throat> so in this directory you have mesh quality mesh manipulation you have this specific one where uh, I show how to to use a few of these tool combinations of this tool okay so here you have some instructions okay of an explanation and this is something important also just to to, to recall, going back to meshing it's very important to have the normals of the surface all of them pointing in the in the same direction so you can check this in part of in part of your part of phone but also if you have the run rom uh, normal orientations you have the option there is a command called surface orient orient this one here that is going to change the orientation of the normal so you are going to put a point outside very far from the geometry and then you are going to force the normals to point in the same direction okay so this is very important i'm going to show you this okay but in any case you have here the steps how to do it so there is a filter called normal glyph you uncheck this auction consistency and that's all okay and then also you can apply transformation okay to the mesh okay so you, you have this command transform points that is quite easy to use and this this is something new actually in open phone 9 previous version it was a little bit more complicated and this is a few equations that i do agree with the developers that this is a, a needed application because sometimes they add some some modifications that makes no sense this one makes absolute sense okay so this is how you can do rotation around set axis scale in all axis okay so this is proportional or you can add different numbers and translate in a x y and z okay so you have there the steps so let's go to the folder here so we have mesh manu quality manipulation okay so first you go to m5 so this is the classical this is the AMAP body that was the one that i i left it for you to do it later okay but here you already have it so is you open the the <coughs> the me the room mesh see here that you have first these steps now to do some um, <coughs> mesh manipulation okay so see that uh so some stl manipulation so see that surface check 
it will give you a diagnostic no a check of the of the meshes will tell you that it's okay of the surface mesh or steel file if you have holes it's very useful okay so also i recommend you from from time to time to use it this is to change the orientation this is to do rotation around x axis okay so you have it like this so you have location of the one they want to to use and then the new one and always remember you go like this and then for an info and then you have more information about this tool and also you can go okay minus help and it will show you how to use it so see here that you have the general commands okay translate rotate and scale So you keep reading and basically you have these commands to, to do manipulation. This is also that you can check the inertia of the body. So you need to assign a density, okay, to the body. Okay, the inertia depends on the density. And then just give the location and it will tell you, it will give you the inertia tensor. Okay, so let me copy here. Let me go here so that you have your inertia there. And um, finally, when well, these steps is generating the mesh. Okay, so here, let me put it there. And then after you generate the mesh, <coughs> you have some other commands just to do the same with the surface, but with the mesh. So see that you can transform points. So you can have multiple rotations. So see that we're rotating around Y and set axis. Then you do some scaling and you can do also some translate. So you can put minus translate and that's all. Okay, so this is how these manipulation tools work. Okay, so let me stop this one. Okay, later you can do it. And let's, let's move to the other case. So in the other case, it is transform cylinder here cylinder transform is similar so this is very fast so just to show you here rotation so let me run everything okay and as you open here you will see that you are generating the mesh and block mesh and then use transform points and what you are doing here is just rotating about set axis then scaling and then translate that's all and we use create patch to do renaming here so here again you can go and check how to use create patch so basically this is the classical cylinder case no and remember that always the cylinder case we have it let's say horizontal now you have inlet here so see that now we just rotate it scale and this now you can use it for instance to do a simulation of buoyancy like in this case now you you can hit the bottom surface and the cylinder and you can deal buoyancy um finally okay i forgot let me go back to m5 and let me launch part of you to show you the normals okay so let me open the STL, always constant, three surface. So you have here the, this one, run normals, okay? So the name is, is descriptive. So you will see that this is the STL with the normals oriented in, in the wrong way, okay? They are not consistent. So you go here, filters. There is one filter, okay? Normal, pa, 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 pa. let me see, uh, normal glyph. Okay, so it will give you the, this message that don't pay attention. It is a warning. You apply, okay, and you get this. Okay, so there are a lot of normals there. Okay, I, what is important now that, <coughs> okay, let me select here and this, uh, okay, you don't have the consistency and I want just to see, let's say, let me reduce the count of normals because there are a lot of them and that can slow down now the, your visualization. <coughs> okay, it's a little bit slow. Let me change here to 0 0.1, the scaling factor. And see that here we have it. So see that they're oriented in the wrong way. So some of these normals are pointing outward and some inwards. And this might give you some problems in, in, in the snappy X. So it's always recommended to have it all of them oriented in the same direction. Okay, so be, this is very important. The consistency check box, 
should be unchecked. If you, put, if you check it, you see that you are going to have it all oriented in the same way. So this is how you want it, and this is what you get. Okay, so you can do the visual check, but if you want to change the orientation, you have this surface orient, and also in theories, you put it here, consistency, and then you should save your STL. You should have your STL uh, with the normals oriented in the same direction. Okay, so also you can change the orientation in part of you. Okay, so that's all for me mesh manipulation and surface manipulation and also for all the meshing model. So thank you for your attention and see you in the next videos. Bye.